Hello, welcome back to Meditating the Word. My name is Cherie. I'm your host and fellow traveler on this journey through the Bible in a year. Whether you've been reading the Bible for years, or if this is your first time to read it, from Genesis to Revelation, I'm so glad to have you with us. We are in the ninth month of our journey, and we still have a lot of people to meet and places to visit. So let's jump into today's passage. This is Day 272. Today we finish reading the book of Nehemiah, chapters 11 through 13, and we'll read Psalm 126. I'm reading from the World English Bible. We are in our final two days of the Old Testament, so let's get started. The Book of Nehemiah, chapters 11 through 13. The princes of the people lived in Jerusalem. The rest of the people also cast lots to bring one of ten to dwell in Jerusalem, the holy city, and nine parts in the other cities. The people blessed all the men who willingly offered themselves to dwell in Jerusalem. Now these are the chiefs of the province who lived in Jerusalem, but in the cities of Judah, everyone lived in his possession in their cities, Israel, the priests, the Levites, the temple servants, and the children of Solomon's servants. Some of the children of Judah and of the children of Benjamin lived in Jerusalem. Of the children of Judah, Athaiah, the son of Uzziah, the son of Zechariah, the son of Amariah, the son of Shephatiah, the son of Mahalalel, of the children of Perez, and Maasaiah, son of Baruch, the son of Kol Jose, the son of Hazaiah, the son of Adaiah, the son of Joyarib, the son of Zechariah, the son of the Shilonite. All the sons of Perez who lived in Jerusalem were 468 valiant men. These are the sons of Benjamin, Salu, the son of Meshulam, the son of Joed, the son of Pedaiah, the son of Kolaiah, the son of Maasaiah, the son of Ithiel, the son of Jeshaiah, after him Gabai and Salai, 928. Joel, the son of Zikri, was their overseer, and Judah, the son of Hasanua, was second over the city. Of the priests, Jedaiah, the son of Joyarib, Jakin, Seraiah, the son of Hilkiah, the son of Meshulam, the son of Zadok, the son of Meraioth, the son of Ahitub, the ruler of God's house, and their brothers who did the work of the house, 822, and Adaiah, the son of Jeroham, the son of Pelaliah, the son of Amzi, the son of Zechariah, the son of Pashur, the son of Malkijah, and his brothers, chiefs of the father's households, 242. And Amash Sai, the son of Azarel, the son of Azai, the son of Meshilamoth, the son of Emer, and their brothers, mighty men of valor, 128. And their overseer was Zabdiel, the son of Hagadolim. Of the Levites, Shemaiah, the son of Hashub, the son of Azrikam, the son of Hashabiah, the son of Buni, and Shebathai, and Josabad, of the chiefs of the Levites, who had the oversight of the outward business of God's house, and Mataniah, the son of Micah, the son of Zabdi, the son of Asaph, who was the chief to begin the thanksgiving in prayer, and Bakbukiah, the second among his brothers, and Abda, the son of Shamua, the son of Galal, the son of Jeduthun. All the Levites in the holy city were 284. Moreover, the gatekeepers, Akub, Talman, and their brothers, who kept watch at the gates, were 172. The residue of Israel, of the priests, and the Levites were in all the cities of Judah, everyone in his inheritance. But the temple servants lived in Ophel, and Ziha, and Gishpa, 
were over the temple servants. The overseer also of the Levites at Jerusalem was Uzzi, the son of Bani, the son of Hashabiah, the son of Mataniah, the son of Micah, of the sons of Asaph, the singers responsible for the service of God's house. For there was a commandment from the king concerning them, and a settled provision for the singers, as every day required. Pethahiah, the son of Meshezabel, of the children of Zerah, the son of Judah, was at the king's hand in all matters concerning the people. As for the villages with their fields, some of the children of Judah lived in Kiriath Arba and its towns, in Dibon and its towns, in Jacobzeel and its villages, in Jeshua, in Molada, Beth Pelet, in Hazar Shual, in Beersheba and its towns, in Ziklag, in Makona and its towns, in In Ramon, in Zora, in Jarmuth, Zenoa, Adjulam, and their villages, Lachish and its fields, and Ezekah and its towns. So they encamped from Beersheba to the valley of Hinnom. The children of Benjamin also lived from Geba onward at Michmash and Aijah and at Bethel and its towns, at Anathoth, Nob, Anaiah, Hazor, Ramah, Getaim, Hadid, Zeboim, Nabalat, Lod, and Ono, the Valley of Craftsmen. Of the Levites, certain divisions in Judah settled in Benjamin's territory. Now these are the priests and the Levites who went up with Zerubbabel, the son of Shealtiel, and Jeshua, Saraiah, Jeremiah, Ezra, Amariah, Maluk, Hattush, Shechaniah, Rehum, Meramoth, Edo, Genethoi, Abijah, Majamin, Maadiah, Bilga, Shemaiah, Joyarib, Jedaiah, Salu, Amak, Hilkiah, and Jedaiah. These were the chiefs of the priests and of their brothers in the days of Jeshua. Moreover, the Levites were Jeshua, Binui, Kadmiel, Sherebiah, Judah, and Mataniah, who was over the thanksgiving songs, he and his brothers. Also, Bakbukiah and Uno, their brothers, were close to them according to their offices. Jeshua became the father of Joachim, and Joachim became the father of Eliashib, and Eliashib became the father of Joiada, and Joiada became the father of Jonathan, and Jonathan became the father of Jadua. In the days of Joachim were priests, heads of fathers' households, of Saraiah, Meraiah, of Jeremiah, Hananiah, of Ezra, Meshulam, of Amariah, Jehohanan, of Maluki, Jonathan, of Shebaniah, Joseph, of Harim, Adna, of Mariah, Helkai, of Edo, Zechariah, of Genethon, Meshulam, of Abijah, Zikri, of Minayamim, of Modiah, Piltai, of Bilga, Shamua, of Shamaiah, Jehanathan, of Joyarib, Metanai, of Jedaiah, Uzi, of Salai, Kalai, of Amak, Eber, of Hilkiah, Hashabiah, of Jedaiah, Nathanel. As for the Levites, in the days of Eliashib, Joida, Johanan, and Jadua, there were recorded the heads of fathers' households, also the priests, in the reign of Darius the Persian. The sons of Levi, heads of fathers' households, were written in the book of the Chronicles, even until the days of Johanan, the son of Eliashib. The chiefs of the Levites, Hashabiah, Sherabiah, and Jeshua, the son of Kadmiel, with their brothers close to them, to praise and give thanks according to the commandment of David, the man of God. Section next to section. Mataniah, Bakbukiah, Obadiah, Meshulam, Talman, and Akub 
were gatekeepers keeping the watch at the storehouses of the gates. These were in the days of Joachim, the son of Jeshua, the son of Josadak, and in the days of Nehemiah the governor, and of Ezra the priest and scribe. At the dedication of the wall of Jerusalem, they sought the Levites out of all their places to bring them to Jerusalem to keep the dedication with gladness, both with giving thanks and with singing, with cymbals, stringed instruments, and with harps. The sons of the singers gathered themselves together, both out of the plain around Jerusalem and from the villages of the Netophathites, also from Beth Gilgal and out of the fields of Geba and Osmaveth. For the singers had built themselves villages around Jerusalem. The priests and the Levites purified themselves, and they purified the people, the gates, and the wall. Then I brought the princes of Judah up on the wall and appointed two great companies who gave thanks and went in procession. One went on the right hand on the wall toward the dung gate, and after them went Joshaiah with half of the princes of Judah, and Azariah, Ezra, and Meshulam, Judah, Benjamin, Shemaiah, Jeremiah, and some of the priests' sons with trumpets. Zechariah, the son of Jonathan, the son of Shemaiah, the son of Mataniah, the son of Micaiah, the son of Zakur, the son of Asaph, and his brothers, Shemaiah, Azarel, Melalai, Gilalai, Maai, Nathanel, Judah, and Hanani, with the musical instruments of David, the man of God. And Ezra the scribe was before them. By the spring gate and straight before them, they went up by the stairs of David's at the ascent of the wall, above David's house even to the water gate eastward. The other company of those who gave thanks went to meet them, and I after them, with the half of the people on the wall above the tower of the furnaces, even to the wide wall, and above the gate of Ephraim, and by the old gate, and by the fish gate, the tower of Hananel, and the tower of Hamea, even to the sheep gate, and they stood still in the gate of the guard. So the two companies of those who gave thanks in God's house stood, and I, and half of the rulers with me, and the priests, Eliakim, Maasaiah, Menayamin, Micaiah, Eloanai, Zechariah, and Hananiah, with trumpets, and Maasaiah, Shemaiah, Eleazar, Azi, Jehohanan, Malkijah, Elam, and Azer. The singers sang loud with Jezrahiah, their overseer. They offered great sacrifices that day and rejoiced, for God had made them rejoice with great joy. And the women and the children also rejoiced, so that the joy of Jerusalem was heard even far away. On that day, men were appointed over the rooms for the treasures, for the wave offerings, for the first fruits, and for the tithes, to gather into them according to the fields of the cities, the portions appointed by the law for the priests and the Levites. For Judah rejoiced for the priests and for the Levites who served. They performed the duty of their God and the duty of the purification, and so did the singers and the gatekeepers, according to the commandment of David and of Solomon his son. For in the days of David and Asaph of old, there was a chief of the singers, and songs of praise and thanksgiving to God. All Israel, in the days of Zerubbabel, and in the days of Nehemiah, gave the portions of the singers and the gatekeepers, as every day required, and they set apart that which was for the Levites, and the Levites set apart that which was for the sons of Aaron. On that day they read in the book of Moses, in the hearing of the people, and it was found written in it that an Ammonite and a Moabite should not enter into the assembly of God for ever, because they didn't meet the children of Israel with bread and with water, but hired Balaam against them to curse them.
However, our God turned the curse into a blessing. It came to pass when they heard the law that they separated all the mixed multitude from Israel. Now before this, Eliashib the priest, who was appointed over the rooms of the house of our God, being allied to Tobiah, had prepared for him a great room, where before they had laid the meal offerings, the frankincense, the vessels, and the tithes of the grain, the new wine, and the oil, which were given by commandment to the Levites, the singers, and the gatekeepers, and the wave offerings for the priests. But in all this I was not at Jerusalem. For in the thirty-second year of Artaxerxes, king of Babylon, I went to the king, and after some days I asked leave of the king, and I came to Jerusalem and understood the evil that Eliashib had done for Tobiah in preparing him a room in the courts of God's house. It grieved me severely. Therefore, I threw all Tobiah's household stuff out of the room. Then I commanded, and they cleansed the rooms. I brought into them the vessels of God's house with the meal offerings and the frankincense again. I perceived that the portions of the Levites had not been given them, so that the Levites and the singers who did the work had each fled to his field. Then I contended with the rulers and said, Why is God's house forsaken? I gathered them together and set them in their place. Then all Judah brought the tithe of the grain, the new wine, and the oil to the treasuries. I made treasurers over the treasuries, Shalemiah the priest, and Zadok the scribe, and of the Levites, Pedaiah, and next to them was Hanan, the son of Zakur, the son of Mataniah, for they were counted faithful, and their business was to distribute to their brothers. Remember me, my God, concerning this, and don't wipe out my good deeds that I have done for the house of my God and for its observances. In those days I saw some men treading wine presses on the Sabbath in Judah, bringing in sheaves and loading donkeys with wine, grapes, figs, and all kinds of burdens which they brought into Jerusalem on the Sabbath day. And I testified against them in the day in which they sold food. Some men of Tyre also lived there, who brought in fish and all kinds of wares and sold on the Sabbath to the children of Judah and in Jerusalem. Then I contended with the nobles of Judah and said to them, What evil thing is this? that you do, and profane the Sabbath day. Didn't your fathers do this? And didn't our God bring all this evil on us and on this city? Yet you bring more wrath on Israel by profaning the Sabbath. It came to pass that when the gates of Jerusalem began to be dark before the Sabbath, I commanded that the doors should be shut and commanded that they should not be opened until after the Sabbath. I set some of my servants over the gates, so that no burden should be brought in on the Sabbath day. So the merchants and sellers of all kinds of wares camped outside of Jerusalem once or twice. Then I testified against them and said to them, Why do you stay around the wall? If you do so again, I will lay hands on you. From that time on, they didn't come on the Sabbath. I commanded the Levites that they should purify themselves and that they should come and keep the gates to sanctify the Sabbath day. Remember me for this also, my God, and spare me according to the greatness of your loving kindness. In those days, I also saw the Jews who had married women of Ashdod, of Ammon, and of Moab, and their children spoke half in the speech of Ashdod and could not speak in the Jews' language, but according to the language of each people. I contended with them, cursed them, struck certain of them, plucked off their hair, and made them swear by God, You shall not give your daughters to their sons, nor take their daughters for your sons, nor for yourselves. Didn't Solomon, king of Israel, sin by these things? Yet among many nations there was no king like him. And he was loved by his God, and God made him king over all Israel. Nevertheless, foreign women caused even him to sin. 
Shall we then listen to you to do all this great evil, to trespass against our God in marrying foreign women? One of the sons of Joiada, the son of Eliashib, the high priest, was son-in-law to Sanballat, the Horonite. Therefore I chased him from me. Remember them, my God, because they have defiled the priesthood and the covenant of the priesthood and of the Levites. Thus I cleansed them from all foreigners and appointed duties for the priests and for the Levites, everyone in his work, and for the wood offering at appointed times and for the first fruits. Remember me, my God, for good. Psalm 126 A Song of Ascents When the Lord brought back those who returned to Zion, we were like those who dream. Then our mouth was filled with laughter, and our tongue was singing. Then they said among the nations, The Lord has done great things for them. The Lord has done great things for us, and we are glad. Restore our fortunes again, O Lord, like the streams in the Negev. Those who sow in tears will reap in joy. He who goes out weeping, carrying seed for sowing, will certainly come again with joy, carrying his sheaves. Father God, you have done great things for us. You have restored us to right relationship with you. You have made available to us all of your great and precious promises. You provide for our every need. Even though we may have sown in tears, we reap in joy. We come again to you with joy and singing, thanking you for all of the many blessings you have given us. Amen. Well, there we have it, another chapter in our journey through the Bible. It isn't always easy to understand, but remember, it isn't a race, and each word we read is a seed planted in our hearts. Thank you for being part of this journey. Join us tomorrow and every day as we continue our journey through the pages of the Bible. This is Cherie signing off for the day. Remember, you are in my prayers. I can't wait to see you tomorrow. Until next time, be blessed and be a blessing.